Hi everyone, it's Bettina. Today is Friday, December the 30th, 2011. So I just wanted to upload another video uh, to show the ESR meter, uh, Equivalent Series Resistance Capacitance meter, um, in motion, in function. Uh, I had a power supply that I had to fix. It's from an old computer. And in fact, I want this old computer to work because it's got, uh, it's a 486. It's got uh, the five and a quarter inch uh, disk drive and it's also got uh, a three and a half inch floppy and then it's got a CD-ROM and then it's got a hard drive. So it's got a lot of the old um, old stuff. I have a really old computer, it's an IBM 5150 that only has the five and a quarter inch disks and um, I, need a, I, need a, I need a computer that's actually internet capable to, to download programs and such and then put it to that particular media, the five and a half or five and a quarter inch uh, floppy. So anyway, what uh, I had is a pa bad power supply. So as soon as I plugged the computer in, I got it at a uh, surplus store. As soon as I plugged it in, um, it, it just didn't work. So I suspect that there was a problem with this power supply. So I just uh, measured the voltage, and sure enough, I was getting one or one and a half volts when I should have been getting five in the computer. And the 12 volt supply was something crazy like seven or six volts or something like that. So I knew right away I had a problem with the power supply, and uh, I took it out and I fixed it. I fixed it pretty quick too. So I want to show you what I did to that power supply. So let me show you the power supply. It's on the bench right now. Don't mind the mess. Alright, well there is the power supply. And um, I've just got it hooked up to a meter right now. By the way, it's fixed, so that's why you're going to see the uh, 5 volts there now. But what it was, the, the actual power supply I used to give this, it was giving a, a, a kind of a, a loud high frequency pitch to it. So I thought maybe there would be a problem with the capacitor. So the first thing I checked was is um, the capacitors. And lo and behold, I actually found out right off the bat, thanks to the equivalent series resistance meter, which is right there. And um, it was this particular cap that was right there. That's the replacement. Thank goodness I've got lots of extra capacitors, as you can see. So I replaced that capacitor. Well, I measured it first, of course, and it measured bad. And I'll show you what it measured. I have it out of the circuit now. So let me turn on the ESR meter, and we'll see what the reading gives. Okay, so there we go. So that is bad. It's actually showing at about 13 ohms right now. And th that is just horrible. We should be getting somewhere maybe like, like between 0 and 1. Uh, that would be a good cap. And I also tested it on the actual... Uh, uh, LCR meter, and sure enough, the capacitance is something like 22 microfarad when it should be uh, 2200 microfarad or something like that. So this capacitor is completely gone, and uh, once I replaced it on the on the power supply, the power supply worked fantastic. And there you can see it, 5 volts. So, there you go. If you want to fix a, a switching power supply, the first thing you should do is check the caps, especially if it's an older one, and have yourself an ESR meter. And uh, good luck. And by the way, some particular uh, switching power supplies, you re require a load on it to actually give you a voltage. So uh, don't forget to put a load. This one is an older one, and it doesn't require a load, so there's no sensing uh, on it whatsoever, no sensing circuitry. So anyway, it's working. And now the next part is I have to put it back into the computer, put it all together, put it back into the computer, and hopefully the computer will work. I know there's some other problems with the computer. And um, well, maybe I'll show you that computer. You can see it on the floor there. I'll zoom in for you here. There we go. There's the old computer. I know there's uh, a battery that's gone. It's a it's an old NICAD battery, so I've got to replace that. It was for the uh, CMOS memory. So I know I've got a little bit more work to do on it, but at least the uh, power supply is working just fantastic. Anyway, that's it. Take care. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye.